Yo, what's up guys? So Voxy Legend is back with another video. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a part that falls if you touch it in Roblox. And let's start now. So basically, when the player touches a part, we're going to script it to play a sound. And after that, the part ends up falling. So now let's start scripting it. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a part to Studio on like a surface like this, I guess. Put it like wherever you want. Well, I highly suggest put it where there's like no floor. Like keep it like this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to anchor the part and then add a sound. And okay, so after you find the sound that you want to use, then let's rename the sound to break. And now in, inside the part, let's put a script and let's de declare a variable, which is a function. So we're going to type local part equals to script dot parent and now let's hit enter and now we're going to put our touch connect function so we're going to type part dot touch colon connect and then function and then put another parentheses after and then go to he over here and hit enter and now our function is set up now what we're going to type is we're going to type part dot break and then colon play and then after we're going to type part dot anchor equals to false so that basically makes the part fall and now pretty much the part is done it's going to be demolished when you touch it now let's design the part real quick i'm gonna like make it brown and i'm gonna change it to wood planks i guess why does it look like bricks hold up Let's just change it to normal wood, I guess. And maybe a more dull color. Like this. I think it looks good. Let's play it now and see how it works. So when we touch it, it's supposed to play a sound, then the part falls. So, let's touch it. And you see that, the, that it played the sound, then the player falls. And now he's back in the map. And yeah. As you guys might notice in the video, the sound kept playing over and over if you keep touching it. And there's a way to fix it. So what I would do is I would type after play, we're gonna type wait 0.5 se of second. And what we're gonna do after that 0.5, I mean we're gonna put this here actually. After the 0.5, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type part that can touch equals to false and now pretty much when we test the game the sound should stop repeating when you're touching it after 0.5 seconds so let's play and the fact that I and the reason why I let it like keep playing repeatedly for 0.5 seconds is to enhance the game realism and also the fact that it's like easy to script too so we're gonna jump onto the part now and it's set and it played the sound like only two times then after it stopped and now the part's gone too and yeah guys this is how you make a falling part in roblox studio i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you do please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye guys